How's it going everybody? Chaos Key 4013 here with surprise another smash analysis type video. The last time I did something like this was predicting potential echo fighters for the base roster. Today I'm delving into a different kind of analysis. Given that we now only have three characters left in Fighters Pass Volume 2 as of this video, I figured it was time for me to give my case for the character I want most for Smash DLC. You guys darn well know who it is, it's Yudin from Dragalia Lost. I'll be going over why I think Yudin is a good choice for Smash, as well as what I think he could bring to the game with him, like his moveset, stage, music, spirits, etc. Let's begin. So, why Yudin? What makes him so special to be considered for Smash? I mean, just from looking at him, he just appears to be yet another anime sword fighter. And... Yeah, he kinda is. But it's not what he is that's important here. It's what he represents. He is the main character of a mobile game, an area of video games that Smash really hasn't tackled aside from a single music remix. Seeing as Smash is pretty much a celebration of the industry, why not add a character from a mobile game? And a Nintendo mobile game, no less. Plus, he would represent not just Nintendo, but also Psy Games, a big name in the mobile scene, especially in Japan. Most of you may know them as the company behind Grand Blue Fantasy, but they're also responsible for games like Shadowverse and Princess Connect Redive, the latter of which finally got released globally in January 2021. Now yes, Grand Blue is Psy Games' most well-known IP, but Dragalia Lost is the Nintendo game here, so if any of the two comes to Smash, I'm pretty sure Dragalia Lost would take priority. But that doesn't mean other Psy Games content shouldn't be included. In fact, I can see the Smash team treating Yudin's inclusion as a celebration of Psy Games, similar to how Terry's inclusion is a celebration of SNK. And this is before mentioning that Psy Games has helped with several of the new music remixes in Smash Ultimate, even some of the DLC ones. So I would also see Yudin's potential addition as a thank you to Psy Games for their help on the game. So, those are my reasons for why I think Yudin is worthy to get in. But how would he play? Well, for normal air and ground attacks, he would perform the Sword Adventurer's 5-hit combo for either the jab or something similar to Meta Knight's forward tilt. And this running attack would be his dash attack. The rest of the normal moves? Well, honestly, I can see them making stuff up for him, but there are some attack animations from Dragalia Lost that I can see them implementing into Yudin's normal ground and air attacks. But that's really all I've got for an idea regarding those moves. For specials, that's where I have a more concrete idea. The standard special would be... Blazing Circuit! I can see this being a charging move, but it would act like Link's spin attack, where it immediately performs the move after charging for a bit. His side special I can see as Force Strike, where it can be charged and change directions as you charge it, and would be a good attack for breaking shields. Though I can also see this move as a forward smash attack with the mechanic to change directions as you charge it. But if they did that, then I don't really know what they can do for the side special. Down special would be... Rising Circlet! Similar to Blazing Circlet, I can see this being a chargeable move, but this one would be more like Ike's Eruption. Don't know if they would implement the strength buff that it grants in Dragalia Lost in Smash, but if they do, I'm curious to see how it would work. Now, some of you Dragalia fans are scratching your heads wondering why I didn't choose Blazing Circlet as the up special. Well, that's because my choice for the up special is... Exultant Fire! Look, the animation in Dragalia has him jumping really, really high, so it just seemed like the perfect fit for an up special. I picture it functioning in the same vein as Shulk's Air Slash and Cloud's Climb Hazard. Now, on to how I think Yudin's obvious unique gimmick would work. That gimmick being, of course, shape-shifting into a freaking dragon. And the dragon he'd transform into is a no-brainer, Midgard Sormer. Though, to replicate how the mechanic works in Dragalia Lost, this would mean Yudin would be yet another fighter with a meter. I see this working in a similar fashion to Joker's Arsene, but not exact. As you attack, the dragon gauge will occasionally fill up. But once it's full, you won't automatically transform, and instead must input a button command, probably either down B or just B. This transformation would be like a mini Final Smash, with the Dragon Gauge slowly depleting once you transform. Midgard Summer's moves would be based on his attacks from Dragalia Lost, which actually isn't much. The attacks would be slow moving, and the combo he performs would have a lot of ending lag. You'll have multiple jumps in this form, but you only have one air attack, probably something like Charizard's and Ridley's neutral airs. You'll just have one special move, set to the B button, that you can only use once per transformation. You can't flinch in this form, but you can still take damage, and taking damage depletes the Dragon Gauge faster, just like in Dragalia Lost. And yes, you can perform a final smash in Dragon form, which leads me to my idea for the final smash. Actually, for my idea, Yudin would have two different final smashes, one for each form. For his human form, Yudin's final smash would be... With our hearts as one, exalted glory! Sorry, but we won't hold back! 
This move would be a cinematic Final Smash, where he'll team up with the main cast of Dragalia Lost's main story. Yes, even his sister Shell. For his dragon form, it would be similar in practice to Exalted Glory, but this variant has him team up with the other Great Worms to attack, and maybe have it end with Yudin and Brunhilde reverting to their human forms to team up to unleash a final attack. Though the dragon version of the Final Smash would revert Yudin back to human form once the Final Smash finishes. That's all I've got for the moveset, now on to his alts. His default look would be, of course, his original design, with his alternate costume being his gala version, with each receiving three additional color variations. For the original design, I'd have the color swaps be based on three of his party members from the main story. My choices would be Elisan, Ranzel, and Cleo. For the gala version, I'd have the colors be based on three of Yudin's siblings, with my choices being Shell, the gala version of Leonidas, and either Zethia or Zena. It doesn't really matter to me which of the two they go with. Series Icon Emblem Yeah, there's only one option, it's this. The dragon icon seen on the Alberian emblem and flag, as well as when you summon dragons in the summon showcases. As for the victory poses and fanfare, no words, just watch. Now, let's move on to the stage. I have two ideas. The first is the Halidom slash Dragon's Roost since it's the most iconic location in the game. You'd have cameos from the entire main cast of the main story, along with some dragons flying in to watch the fight, with Brunhilde transforming into Mim for good measure. My other idea, the Alberian Battle Royale! There would be different terrain layouts similar to Minecraft World. A woodland area, a swamp, a volcano area, and perhaps fiends can spawn onto the stage, and defeating them will net a stat bonus to the fighter who defeated them, just like what happens in the Alberian Battle Royale mode in Dragalia Lost. As for the music, well, this is a tricky one. Dragalia Lost's music gets a lot of well-deserved praise, but unfortunately, a lot of it is licensed music. So if we got any of the music, it would only be songs original to Dragalia Lost, with most of the vocal themes being instrumental versions or remixes. Of course, this unfortunately means we would not be getting the majority of Dauko's tunes, which sadly includes the fan favorite Cinderella Step. But with side games still seemingly working on Smash Ultimate with the new remixes, I'm fairly certain we'll get some great music tracks out of this should Yudin get into Smash. But that's just Dragalia Lost music. Remember what I said about Yudin's inclusion being a celebration of side games? I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility that they would also include music from other side games properties, like Grand Blue and Princess Connect. Really hoping this is the case. Ah, the classic mode run. I would call this one Otherworldly Travels, signifying Yudin traveling to the worlds of all the fighters from the series that have crossed over with Dragalia Lost. So, Marth, Krom, Mega Man, Joker, maybe throw in Mario and a Pokemon fighter in reference to those series having mobile games, and it ends with a battle against Rathalos, because he crossed over too. Lastly, the Spirit Board, which I have a lot of choices for this one. I'm not going to go into full detail on how each of the Spirit Battles would work. I'm just going to list what I would put in for the Spirit Board. So for the Dragalia Lost Spirits, I would go with the current main cast and characters that currently have Gala versions as of this video. So, Elisan, Branzel, Cleo, Luca, Cerise, Mim, who can be enhanced to Brunhilda, Alex, Laxi, Leaf, Zena, Shell, and Leonidas, who can be enhanced to his Gala version. I'll also throw in Midgard Sormer as a spirit, as well as Zethia and Nott as a single spirit, since these three are very important characters to Dragalia Lost. But that's not all! I'm putting in an additional two spirits from other side games IPs to my personal lineup, Grand from Grand Blue Fantasy and Pecarine from Princess Connect Redive. And there you have it, my case for Yudin getting into Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and what he could bring. Yeah, I'll admit that he might not be the most likely to get in and is more so just a big dream pick for me, but Smash has done much crazier before with its fighter choices. Sure, Yudin might not be the most recognizable character ever, but for what he represents, I think he would make a fine addition to the Smash roster. I'm Kioski4013, see you all next time!